Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. A little bit of everything with Erin. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a drop shadow. It's similar to an offset. You will, however, need designer edition or higher to use this function. I've already gone and typed out a quote. I put happy crafting because that's what I always say at the end of all my videos. If you're wondering about the pattern inside, you can do that by highlighting your word going to your fill option and hitting the third one. That'll give you different patterns. Okay, so to do the drop option, you're going to highlight your phrase, and on the right, you're going to image effects. The last one will be for your shadow. This first one is no shadow, which clearly we have already. This is the drop shadow, which we're going to use. As you can see, it made a shadow behind the word. You can change where the shadow sits by using your X and Y. So we'll just go ahead and move that just to show you. If you hit on pan shadow, you'll get the crosshairs so that you can use that to move it instead. And then if you don't want the shadow to move separately with the words, it's always going to be connected. To get it unconnected, you'll highlight it and hit release shadow and then I'll make them two separate. So it's just a quick way to get an offset back there and it's one that you don't have to have sitting right behind it. You can use this literally as a shadow. It'll just depend on what kind of project you're working on. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment down below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. If you hit the bell at the top of the page, You'll get notifications anytime I post new videos. Make sure you give this a big thumbs up and share it if you want to. Those do really help me out and I appreciate it. If you have suggestions for other videos I should be making, leave me a comment about that as well. Until next time, guys, happy crafting!